is payback or back to back for San Juan and Nueva Ecija as we come back to you live from the Nueva Ecija Coliseum in Palayan City. Well, so far, San Juan is still looking good on the road. They're up by five at halftime. Yeah, after what was a close first quarter, both teams shooting lights out in that first period. San Juan was able to outplay Nueva Ecija 21 to 17 in the second quarter. The numbers here after the first half, 50% shooting for the Knights compared to just 36%. Both teams really trying to hit their shot from the outside, a combined 13 three-pointers for both squads, but the free throws have been the same compared to what happened in game one. 11 out of 20 para sa parehong kuponan. Inside points almost the same, 12 to 10 in favor of the Knights, but if your coach Jerson Cabiltes, that's something that you're worried about because that's a department that you should be dominating owing to the talent that you have in your front line as well as the height advantage. Oh, he did mention, it seems like it's Michael Galisan dominating everybody else in this game so far. He has had a ton of those free throws shot for the Knights, although his percentage isn't really that high. He's taking a look at his numbers. And we find him. There you go. Michael Galisan is 6 out of 12 from the line with 13 points and 9 rebounds to his name. Adrian Dokum has 10 after struggling. Shooting from the field, 0 out of 6 in game number 1. AJ Boy Boyka has 6 and Jeff Tahonera started in this game and he has 5 points so far here in game number 2. On the other hand, it's Will Macaloni who has 8 points. Same goes for Chris Piton. They combined for 16. Jonathan Oilon has 6 off the bench. And Shaq Taganas with 3 hard-earned points. He has gone to the line a ton of times already as well. And boy, the number of cut it to a 5-point lead. Let's see how these final 2 minutes will play out. Orlan Lamar and company looking for revenge. They want payback. Orlan crosses. On to Zach Wang. One-hander. Off to the right. Rebound Goliado. A crucial possession for Neva Isia. Piton crosses. Piton passes. Macaloni. He muscles his way through. No basket. Offensive rebound. Macaloni takes down Kalisan. And that's a charge. Oh, big call right there. Already had a chance to knock it down the first try. But it ripped out. That's just with the story. They missed a lot of easy opportunities inside. Vico has had a number of them. Macaloni as well. There you go. A little lowering of the shoulder and the extension of that right forearm. For Coach Jerson. That's Viton with Palma, Uiloan, Villarias, and Goliado. Let's see what they can do. 89 seconds to go. Villarias, strip, recovery, Palma for three. Yes, sir. And the lead is down to five. This is not yet over. They need a stop here. 84 seconds to go. Adrian Nokov looking for a teammate. There's Pangaliban in trouble. And he throws the ball out to Nokov. Nokov will attack. Adrian Nokov misses. Oh, that, Rebound it on. That could have been a travel earlier by Pangaliban. Byron for three. In and out. Rebound to Bidon. And then he lost the ball. Possession for San Juan, but the referees will review this again. Wow, what a sequence. And to the North Division Finals. Forward pass, no home goes to Wang. And now the ball is with the franchise player of the San Juan Knights. They go to Zach, mismatch. Zach Wang attacking, triple team, kick out, Taiwan for three. Oh my goodness! Marvin Taiwan comes alive in the clutch again. Just like his performance in game one. Three-pointer knocked down by Taiwan. Missed by Piton. Byron for three. That's short. 36 seconds to go. And it looks like Neva is not going to foul anymore. Galisan will attack. There's the foul. And not the best of fouls. It's two plus one for Michael Galisan. A chance for him to reach 30 points in this game. What a performance tonight by San Juan. And that's already the fifth of Jay Colliado. He will now exit this game. Kalisad, he has been the standard of excellence for San Juan all game long. But what about Marvin Taiwan? Once again, stepping up to the plate, unfazed by the challenge and the pressure. He did not hesitate to take that open three-point shot 
Michael Kalisaan. He has 29 points and 18 rebounds. Make that 30 for Mike. Para dito sa Nueva Ecija. Sideline inbound. Chris Bitoon. Looking for a teammate. There's Jonathan Ailoan. They go to Palma, who lost the ball. Recovery here. Byron goes to Jonathan. Ailoan from downtown. That's good off the glass. It's 88 to 80. 17 seconds remaining. Marwin will be fouled. Ooh, there was a hit. Oh, that's not really a good display of class by Jonathan Oiloan. Especially coming from a veteran like him. Adrian Lopum is okay. And it's Marvin Taiwan who should be getting ready to shoot free throws. Or are they in the penalty already? Yes. MSCI is in the penalty. Here comes Mr. Clutch for the San Juan Knights. Scored six points in game number one. Off of two clutch three-pointers, both from the corner. And he made another clutch three in this game, also from the corner. Second free throw off of his first miss. Now, one thing that the Knights will definitely have to improve on, as it looks like they're going to move on to the next round, are their free throws. That's going to be something that they have to address. Oiloan will fire. That's no good, and that should do it. The San Juan Knights officially eliminate the defending champions, the Nueva Ecija Rice Vangers. And San Juan will now advance to the North Division Finals to take on the Pampanga Giant Lanterns. So oh, what a ball game. San Juan's playing their hearts out. We'd like to remind everybody, Mix, that this is a depleted roster that they've been playing with against a very much talented, experienced, MVP of San Juan just did it twice here in the North Division semifinals and for the first time in these playoffs it's not going to be Orlan Momar who is the best player of San Juan. 30 points, 18 rebounds, 3 steals, 11 out of 19 from the field. How could you not give player of the game honors to Michael Calizar playing his best game of the season yet para sa San Juan closing out the defending champions, the Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards. Once again, they dethroned the defending champions and also they put themselves in a good place to be the only team to repeat as national champions here in the MPBL. But of course, they will have to face Pampanga first in the North Division Finals. So the standard is upheld for San Juan, minimum North Division Finals. As now, Michael Calisan is with Sydney Crespo. At tinapos na ng San Juan Knights ang season ng defending champions. And Michael Calisan, you're the best player of the game with 30 points and 18 rebounds. Michael 2-0 in the quarterfinals versus Makati. And 2-0 ngayon versus Nueva Ecija. Paano nyo ito nagawa? At bakit parang walang kaba sa inyo ngayong gabi? Uh, naglalaro lang kami sa team. Eh. Uh, Nagpipipay kami uh, everyday. Eh. So, naready naman kami nila coach para sa mga games namin. Uh, nakita naman natin na uh, number 3. Makati and then ngayon number 2 yung Nueva Ecija so uh, next game hopefully yung number 1 naman Michael alam ko marami pa kayong paghahandaan ngayon versus Pampanga in the North Division Finals sino mga gusto mong batin at pasalamatan uh, unang una nagpapasalamat ako kay Lord uh, sa panalong ito uh, napakaira pero ginabayan niya kami uh, Senator Jingoy syempre Boss James Go sa aming sponsors uh, Go for Gold Boss Jeremy J.S. Yuamuso Thunderbird DLMT Sportswear at sa mga San Juan ninyo sa nawalang sao sumusuporta sa amin marami salamat sa inyo at yung uh, asawa ko, si Steph, yung anak ko si Mateo, si Coco uh, yung mga taga Bebe Apo Boys, si Rolly Boy yung tatay ko na nanalo ng barangay captain, pinabati ko, congrats lang lahat ng ano, pamilya ko mga pamilya ng teammates ko good luck thank you so much Michael, once again congratulations sa inyo, mix and happy, that's it, back to you guys thank you Sydney and so Michael Calisangers, up next he has Balti Baldazar and the rest of the Pampanga Giant Lanterns, it is Pampanga versus San Juan in the North Division Finals. Literally another tall order for the Knights, but they have already proven that
that they could slay Giants here in the league by dethroning the defending champions in Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards. Although it was the best game yet of the season for Michael Calesan, still a total team effort for the San Juan Knights. Everybody chipped in. A lot of people had their moments. Adrian Noco played splendidly. Nico Panganiban had his moments as well. Orlan Mamar was still as effective in the dying minutes of this game in trying to play make for his teammates and make something happen, especially on the defensive end as well. Now, of course, we do wish for the speedy recovery of E.G. Boy Boyka, who got injured in this game, a knee injury for him. Jeff Tahonera got ejected, so it's a question as to his uh, availability for game number one versus Pampanga. It's already been a depleted front line for Coach Randy Alcantara. That's why the wings, much like Adrian Nocom, has had to or have had to step up for them. It's going to be a longer journey against the Pampanga Giant Lanterns. And this is only the beginning again for San Juan because this 